Hi, this is Gadi Elkan with Selig Film News here with the team behind Novitsky, A Perfect Shot. We've got Dirk's sister, Silky Novitsky, and Hello. of course, Leopold Hirsch, who we talked to earlier. Um, why did you let this guy into your life? What's the deal? Him and Sebastian come in and they just start filming you guys? It must have been crazy. Yeah, it took some time to, uh, you know, win our trust. But then uh, we saw the work they did earlier with the, their movies and um, they found a good way of portraying Dirk and the family and his, um, you know, his life uh, without being too close. And so it was a good, good way for us to, um, to have a kind of like a um, documentary for life that we can, you know, have for the next years. Well, I'm curious because you, you've been obviously with Dirk for the longest here in America. You obviously were NBA International. Um, how has Dirk coming over here affected your life? Yeah, it's been uh, quite an uh, quite an interesting ride with him as a brother. You know his career, and then um, obviously had a big imp impact on, on my life. Um, I moved to New York for a little bit to work at the NBA, um, but also on sure on a on, on a daily basis, just the the stuff that we had we got to experience from All Star games and. And you know all these these highlights in the past uh, 10, 15 years that um, his career, you know, we were able to to witness, and so it's been we've been blessed, and it's been a, a fun journey. You know, Dallas had experience when Detlef Shrimp was here, mm -hmm. so we had some foreign influence, but we we didn't have Detlef straight stay here as long. Mm -hmm. And with Dirk, it's been something different. We've we've seen him grow up from the rookie year and mm. everything basically has changed around him but Dirk still <laughs> remains. Uh -huh. Did you ever think that it would be this long, it would turn into this? We had no idea when uh, we first heard about NBA and, and, and even after the draft uh, we thought oh yeah he can come to Dallas and try and maybe see um, if it works but you know no one had an Ever thought that this was going to be it was the start of uh, you know 16 years, 17 years in Dallas now, so it's become his second home away from home, and um, he's happy. Dallas, Dallas is his, um, you know, the organization, the people, and especially after the championship, is um, he really, you know, he really lost it here. I'm curious, you you became a manager right at, around the time of 06, the mm -hmm. the final loss, and. You saw him through some very tough years, right. you know, maybe even tougher than when he came over because that soft label came out. And the Dirk that we see now that's won a title, that's taken over as one of the greatest players, what was it like, though, during those toughest times when the national media was basically mean yeah. to Dirk? Yeah, yeah there's been uh, ups and downs, um, just like within any other family, I want to say. And the tough times... Uh, it was good to, you know, the most important things are your friends, your family, you know, stick together, and uh, and that's what we did, and it got us through a lot of, um, you know, rough times. But uh, I think most importantly, he he learned from his mistakes and then from his uh, um, from from his experiences. Then we try to not be too emotional with, you know, media stuff because you can't, it's tough to influence what other people think about you. So, you know, if, as long as you're, um, as you're, as you're happy with your own performance, like Dick said, if, if I'm, you know, he works on his game and that's, um, the, the, the best critic is, uh, himself, you know, if he's okay with his performance, then, you know, it's okay no matter what other people are going to say about it. Were you surprised that Leopold and Sebastian got your folks to be so open and honest? I mean, I was surprised that they actually uh, found a way to get my mom in front of the camera because that has never happened before in 16 years, 17 years NBA. So uh, it took some convincing, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, seeing her um, in the movie and then when I saw it in the big screen for the first time was pretty emotional because she's. It, I'm so happy that she decided to be in the film because it kind of gives it a whole new dimension, you know, see her talk about Dirk. Leopold, you've been able to cover the family now. You've seen Dirk's family grow as a father. How has that 
it, it must be interesting to see him grow to another level and do something, you know, fresh. I mean, Holger's known him since he was 15 and seen the journey, but you guys come in and he's having a family now, too. That must have been exciting to capture that. Mm -hmm. For you guys, what, what was that like? Dirk has a family now. It's kind of crazy. It probably was, was uh, actually, we, I think I'm happy we started before because if we have started with two children, it would have been even more difficult to convince him. But taking this time away from his family, so I, he can be happy that he has done this and is over with and has it done for his children. And uh, we won't be back in the next three years. So <laughs> he can. <laughs> yeah. Did, so did you tell them you guys got to go away now? <laughs> you guys. No, no, we were done. We were yeah. absolutely done. We got everything we wanted to. And uh, uh, it was a very emotional moment when they all came over to Cologne, to Germany, with the Mavericks, and on their plane, coming all to Cologne, and were four days with us in Cologne. Mm -hmm. This was just an amazing, amazing day. There was a r huge election in Germany that we that weekend, on, on Monday morning, on the Cologne newspaper. Cologne is fourth yeah. largest city in Germany. On, on both major newspapers, we were on the cover page. So we, the Maverick, Mavericks and Dirk uh, really helped us to rock this city. And yeah. this was also very emotional. So what's it like being able to have a night like tonight, so doing big nights? I mean, this is a big deal to the Mavericks organization. So obviously, Leopold's brought the film here. Yeah. The family's out. Uh, teammates, past teammates. I mean, tonight's really special. W what do you feel about tonight? Yeah, it's uh, a very special, big deal for, for all of us, and I'm very excited about tonight. I'm not sure what to expect that makes <laughs> it even more exciting. Um, yeah, I mean, red carpet uh, a whole, uh, was a whole new experience in Cologne uh, in September, and uh, so this is my second red carpet experience. I'm kind of pro now already. <laughs> no, but uh, it's, it's gonna, be, gonna be great and, and emotional again to see you know, to see the movie on the big screen and to see to see it with people that um, you know that were part of of the journey for a long time now in you know, Mavs organization and the people um, that didn't get to see it in Cologne. So I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun. It's interesting. Leopold said earlier that when when you all in Cologne, Dirk had not seen anything of it, and this was his experience with it. Um, did you get to share a moment with him and be like? Whoa! We just saw mom up there. That's weird. Right. Yeah, he he didn't want to see the movie before the premiere. He felt like he wanted to experience with everybody uh, for the first time. And but that night was too crazy. We didn't really get a personal moment. We talked about it, um, you know, a little bit. But he left the next day, right, to go back with the uh, Mavericks to a training camp, and so. Uh, he still owes me a conversation about the movie, so maybe tonight we'll get a chance. Do you ever uh, let him actually win at any sports, or do you still beat him? Yeah, uh, he was nice enough to let me win a couple of times. But uh, yeah, he's, he was very talented in all different kinds of sports, so that was kind of tough to find, find, uh, find my niche there, but uh, yeah. Is it interesting to, you guys are such an athletic family, such a well-known family mm -hmm. of athletes. Um, do you, do you push your kids to, I mean, like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. do you expect something out of this? No, I mean, I'm hoping that uh, either my son or my daughter will end up playing basketball, at least for a little bit, just because I want to be close to that sports, uh, you know, in watching as a mom. Um, but no, I mean, pretty much I, uh, I'm hoping I'm, I can stay positive and be open for whatever they want to be uh, getting into. But I think sports, to have sports in life, um, is good for kids no matter what. So I'm hoping um, they stay around uh, sports uh, for a long time. But it doesn't really matter if it's basketball or you know any other kind of sports. Maybe they'll pick up tennis. Oh, maybe. There was Dirk said this on a German newspaper interview, and uh, that his parents were so so open, basically had the same attitude as could just mentioned. They would have done everything for him and he could have chosen any sport even if he decided to become a belly dancer <laughs> they would have dri driven him to belly dance he could have been a terrific belly dancer. <laughs> oh, so he would have been one of a kind oh. mm -hmm. um leopold can i just kind of final question yeah. um where does the film go from here tell us of, of the next journey well we did germany it was the most successful 
doc German documentary in the market last year, and now basically our second step is the Dallas International Film Festival. Very proud to be here, mm -hmm. and it's uh, yeah, it's an emotional moment. To have, but this is the second step, and from here we take it to Europe, to the other European neighbor countries: France, France, Italy, Spain, Israel, and then go in the summer we go to to Asia, mm -hmm. and uh, um, there's a pretty decent offer from a very uh, nice film festival in Asia. And uh, this is probably going to be in June, around June, where it will then run in, in Asia. Wow. Well, thank you guys so much for coming to Dallas. I thank mean, you. It's, it's going to be a wonderful evening. And I'm, I, I know I'm happy to be excited <laughs> about it, but I know everyone at the film festival is really excited about tonight. So cool. thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thank you.